ages ago this song started coming to me and, and usually I write songs for my group Bell and Sebastian but this was the first time that I, I heard the songs it was like a radio switching on my head and it was a girl singing or females singing I thought it was a girl group at first I thought well this is interesting but then you know the songs kept coming out and after I had about three or four I thought well this is a character that's singing and um, and when I got spare time, when I got time off the band, I thought I'd sit down and try, write, uh, try to write a script around this character. Let me tell you this. If you want to hear your voice floating in the middle of a beautiful tapestry of frequencies, you're going to need a pop group. This film is obviously a love letter to Glasgow. Uh, have you ever thought of making a film perhaps set in London? I would love to. I could do. I think it's, I love cities. I've written plenty of... London songs, you know, in, in my time, there's so many, there's about three of our, you know, songs are completely London, so written in London, about London, you know, and I think it's, it's possible to come to any interesting city, any city you like. It's almost easier, I would say, to base a narrative around, because when you're a stranger coming to a city, you see it in a different way, so I, I would love to at some point. When you're here, where do you like to play shows and where do you like to hang out? Lots of great places. We, we, we've been very lucky. We've, we've played, we started our careers at the, at the Borderline, which is an, a great little gig. And then a few years later, we played the Albert Hall. And it's so memorable, scary, but great. Um, I loved Somerset House. We, we played a couple of nights there. It was just, just brilliant. And um, yeah, so there's, and, and the, the, I think the last time we played in London was at the newly reopened Roundhouse. We played a few nights there, beautiful acoustics. So we've had, uh, we've had a lot of great... The, the London gig is always key, you know. And some people, especially from up north, some people are kind of scared, you know, because there's like a lot of journalists there. But they, they forget that the London audiences are very, very good. They're a very wise sort of audience. They're very supportive. And you got kind of hypnotized my cleavage cast a spell over him really is that usual no absolutely not i think they go up and down quite a bit sometimes i quite like them I feel ready to show the world and then other times i just want to take them up and go running through the barley <laughs> 